In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you an elegant 1920s daytime and into evening look. This look is inspired by Essie Davis playing Miss Franny Fisher, which is currently showing on ABC TV here in Australia. I was very inspired after meeting Kerry Greenwood, the author of this book, and wanted to create a special new series for you. We're beginning today's tutorial with our base already done. The base is the same colour as your skin and done in a matte foundation and set with a setting powder. We're going to begin by using a light neutral shadow that will be washed all over the entire eyelid up to the brow area. Now that you've done those lids, we're using Carbon, which is a matte black eyeshadow from MAC and an angle brush. We're going to be pressing this black shadow into the line instead of using an eyeliner. We'll be doing this across the whole of the top lid and the bottom third corner. Make sure that you really press this colour in rather than wiping it because we want a lot of intensity at the lash line. We'll blend it later. You can see that this is just into the outside third corner under the eye. Now take your blending brush and gently press and blend this upwards and outwards. This is just to smudge the corners of this a little bit and soften it off. We want to do that both at the top and at the bottom. I'm using a camel's foot brush just to draw a little tiny bit of this black up into the crease line. This should be very, very subtle, so it can't actually be seen from a distance. Just enough to give a little bit more depth to the eye. You can see it's almost as though the liner has just transferred itself to the crease line. Now we're going to curl our lashes and apply our mascara. I'm using a new Maybelline one. While you're using your eyelash curler, make sure that you not only clamp the lashes, but then rotate them upwards. Use the brush, focusing on the outside lashes all the way into the inside corner. For this look, we'll be curling both lashes and applying mascara to the top and to the bottom lashes. This isn't a heavy mascara look. We want to keep this light and natural with just a little mascara on the bottom. Don't make this too heavy because we're not after a twiggy or a stage effect. I'm keeping the brows natural, not filling them in at all, simply brushing them upwards and outwards into the correct shape. They won't really be seen once we get to our piece de resistance. The blush for this look is really important. Essie has some fantastic cheekbones and for this look we don't want to be putting the blush up onto the apple of the cheek. We in fact want to use it to contour a little. The blush that I'm using is Tea Rose by Bourjois and I'm using this on a soft blush brush underneath the cheekbone right up to the temple and down to the jawline. You can see that I'm rubbing this in with a circular motion to actually blend that quite well. Once we've done that on both sides, we need to make sure that it's blended in to give us a slight blush and of course that contour under the apple Quite a classic look that gives Franny her cheeky face. I'm using a kabuki brush to just further buff this into the foundation and blend it off very, very softly. This isn't a stage or a showgirl look that we're going for. Franny's much too classy for that. Here we're doing the lips. I'm using the Dream Matte Mousse Foundation just to blank these out a little as the lip is the most difficult part. You'll see that on here, the bow is much wider than the traditional 50s you often see on me. So you really need to focus on where you're drawing this in. I'm going to use Besame Red, which is a really classic true red to fill this in. I'm applying it directly from the lip container, then using a brush to blend that out. Very, very simple. And here we have it, a piece de resistance, a little bit of frining hair that we have styled earlier today to just give us that Miss Fisher cheeky look.